Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. We are here at Creative Kitchen and Bath with Miss Allison Davis. How are you doing I am today? Wonderful. How are you? I am doing great because you're fattening me up with all these holiday recipes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm known to do that. Yeah, you? Well, that's okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> but what are we going to be working on today? Um, this one is uh, a recipe I came across. I'm doing this for a luncheon for some ladies that are coming in, but they're gluten free or uh -huh. gluten intolerant. Um, so this is a recipe for a gluten pumpkin ginger cupcake. We're going to make a cream cheese frosting and drizzle it with salted caramel. So it sounds heavenly. Yeah. It's got all the flavors of the season. Um, so I'll kind of go over just what we have in the cupcake. Okay. And then we're going to start working on our frosting. Okay. Uh, but the cupcake is uh, one and a half cups of gluten-free flour. And then we're adding in baking powder and baking soda, mm -hmm. uh, nutmeg, ginger, and a uh, little bit of cinnamon. Okay. And then I add some vanilla, some eggs, pumpkin, uh, canned pumpkin is just fine, mm -hmm. brown sugar, um, vegetable oil, and a pinch of salt. So okay. very basic recipe here. Mm -hmm. um, you whisk it together. One of the good things about gluten-free flour, you really don't overwork it. Like you can just keep working the dough and it's yeah. not going to stretch any of the gluten. So it's not going to get super tough. So you can get it really nice and smooth and well mixed. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. What is, in your experience, what is one of the better gluten-free flours that you like That's to great use? Great question. Um, there's a brand called Cup for Cup that I really like and you use it cup for cup, like with <laughs> all-purpose flour. It's equal and as far it as really the measurement. And it really does to me yield you a wonderful product. Mm -hmm. so. And where do you get that typically? Um, I think you can pretty much find that anywhere. You just look for cup for cup, the brand. Okay. Um, and it's in the, it's I think with the flowers or it'll be in your gluten-free mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. All right, good to know. All right, so we've made our cupcakes ahead of time and we're gonna work on the frosting. So I have some cream cheese. Uh, we're going to add a touch of milk in mm -hmm. there to kind of thin that out. Um, similar to some other recipes we've done, we want to make sure we have uh, room temperature cream cheese that's nice and softened yes. um, that is going to whip really well. And then don't mind me, I'm just adding flat, uh, powdered sugar <laughs> um, to our mixture. And that's going to whip together um, and we're going to use that as our frosting. So add milk or cream to kind of thin that out, and then you just really want to whip it to where, um, as Lisa is showing us, Miss Vanna, yes, <laughs> um, how lovely that is going. But you want to uh, just incorporate that. all of that sugar <laughs> in there. It's when we have aprons, right? Yeah, exactly. They're not just for show. <laughs> I can actually show Troy that I'm actually cooking and working in the kitchen, oh, right? I never believe it. I know he won't believe it. <laughs> all right, so we are going to. Perfect. I'm just going to take a little bit yeah. of that frosting and start kind of just working that on our cupcakes. You could pipe this if you wanted, but really a cream cheese frosting is maybe a little bit runnier yeah. um, and smoother. So I'm just going to smooth that out. Already that looks better, doesn't it? It really does. Looks like it's going to taste good too. All right, I'm so you want to uh, put some of those on top? Oh, sure. <laughs> and then I made a caramel sauce. Um, I don't have a recipe yet for this, I think, up, but I can uh -huh. get that for you. Uh, but this is we'll just a salted caramel. And one of the websites to go to that I really love her recipe for caramels um, is Ina Garden uh, with Food Network. She yeah. does a great salted caramel. Oh, okay. And it's pretty foolproof. So I pretty much made caramels ahead of time. I took some of those caramels and put it in the pot and then just added a little milk to it to thin it out and a pinch of salt because okay. I wanted a little salt to balance with my sweetness. What right? kind That's of a temp do you put that on too? A low heat. Okay. So again, these were caramels that were already made. Mm -hmm. And then I just put them in the pan and added a touch of milk to kind of thin that out. Gotcha. And it's got some salt to it as well. Mm -hmm. So then this is just going to kind of be our drizzle over oh, nice. our cupcakes, right? Oh. So, you know, I can't say that these are guilt-free <laughs> because they're gluten-free, but um, they are heavenly. Yeah. And um, even like a little pinch of salt, believe it or not, would be really great on these. But I'm getting um, very messy with my frosting. That's good. That's good. Any of the leftovers, you know, yeah. we kind of lick our fingers mm -hmm. and go on. <laughs> yep. That's the way it goes. Uh, but yeah, this is something that you could definitely serve for the holidays, especially if you have any gluten-free friends, that they can indulge on as well. 
uh, while we're having milk and cookies. <laughs> awesome. Yum. Well, I can't wait. And for this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head over to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com, and, um, or you're on Instagram a lot, and that's at Chef, Chef Allison, Allison Davis. Davis. Or um, WildTime has an Instagram page, too, um, yeah. and that's WildTime Cooking, of course. Well, there we go. And uh, we'll be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here. Today's cooking segment was brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style.